This is Shola, my middle school best friend. We were roommates for five years, went to the same classes for six years. We ate at the same table over a thousand times. But as life progresses, you get a job and you grow apart. At this point now, it's been six years since I've spoken or heard from Shala. So in an attempt to connect more uh, with my childhood and my background, I decided to call him up out of the blue and invite him on a seven day long trip with me to Japan. <laughs> Yo, I wanted to invite you on an impromptu trip to, to Japan. Okay, I mean, it's fair. Uh... Okay, is this trip gonna be awkward? I mean, I know we're both different people now. He now has a beard, I have a full head of braids. We both have master's degrees. We both have full-time jobs. We both live thousands of miles away from where we went to school. The question is, is he still the same person inside? Is there a possibility of us being close friends? Is he gonna hate me? Is he gonna hate this experience? There's only one way to find out. It's time to pack my suitcase. A little bit of a packing hack here. I try on a few outfits before I leave for my trip and then I take photographs of them. That way I have a specific outfit for every single day of my trip. It's such a good hack. You should try it. I then put my outfits into these packing cubes and label them according to the day that I need to wear them. That makes sure that all my stuff is so organized. By the way, thanks away for sending all this stuff over the suitcase, the packing cubes, and thank you for sponsoring the video as well. All right, let's pack. For me, organization is very important when I'm traveling, especially when it comes to a trip like this when I don't know what's gonna happen. Away provides sleek and stylish luggage solutions that make sure that your stuff is always nicely put away so that you can truly focus on what matters on a trip, which is experiencing the destination. From an interior compression pad, hidden laundry bag, 360 degree spinner wheels, to a TSA approved lock, it's obvious that a lot of thought went into the details when these pieces were designed. I love them. They've got a wide range of colors and sizes, so you gotta check them out at awaytravel.com or in person at a location near you. This is what we looked like 13 years ago. Look at this, this is hilarious. What, what am I wearing? What is this? See, I was, I was looking through these old hard drives and I stumbled upon this folder from middle school and high school and it took me back. Looking through these brought so many of those faded memories back. These are such a capsule of my memories. It almost brought tears to my eyes. Since I, since I found that folder, I've been looking for ways to reconnect with my roots, to kind of foster relationships with people that were instrumental in making me the man that I am today, which is kind of why I really wanted to book this trip. My flight, Jesus. Welcome to Japan. One of the most visually stimulating places in the entire world. Full of vibrant culture, incredible food, and world-class architecture. We actually timed this perfectly to coincide with the bloom of the sakura flowers. I feel like travel experiences like this are the best way to develop relationships both old and new. I will only remember Fuji solely because we biked for an hour. Alright, this, this Mount Fuji day was ridiculous. We had the most ridiculous and annoying time in Mount Fuji. If we miss this train and then we then miss the bus again. It started when we woke up. We were 30 minutes late. And if you know anything about Japan, you know they're always on time. Thank you. And unluckily for us, we're doing this right at rush hour in the morning. First order of event, um, gotta go find some e-bikes. Look at Mount Fuji in the back, looking good. Apparently this guy might not know how to ride bicycles. Your worst enemy. <laughs> looking for a bicycle rental? All right, you can actually ride a bicycle. There we go, we're on the bikes, doing the whole thing. Oh, bump! Oh, yeah, still good, we're good. Gosh. Everybody's dying. <laughs> I don't mean to be dramatic, but yeah, dang. In our fast paced lives, it can be difficult to find dedicated time for the people that matter. I mean, it just feels like I'm in a movie. However, during a trip like this, you have the opportunity to engage in meaningful conversation, to skip past the bullshit and foster deeper connections and understanding. How much have I changed mm. from school? My personality wise, okay. But I think, I see, I, you basically the exact same. But it's Maybe, still that cynical. Yes, still yeah. cynical. Yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never run in the airport kind of guy. <laughs> run? <laughs> Surprisingly, we've both individually grown to love the same things. We both have a passion for vintage timepieces and luxury watches. We both really enjoy exercising, going out for runs, and staying fit. And our sense of humor is still, still roughly the same. This guy's been working on his dad self. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Japan was just the right choice for a place to catch up with such an old friend. The amount of places that we went to, the stuff that we saw, 
It was insane. All right, so we're walking around this beautiful city called Nara when we stumbled upon a crowd gathered around a small shop. And we're hearing the strangest sounds coming out of it. This is Mitsuo Nakatani, and he's making mochi, the sweet sticky rice cake treat that's very popular here in Japan. One person wields a massive mallet, bringing it down with all their might, while another person bravely turns and wets the mochi in between the thumbs. Now, if you notice, there's not a single clip of me eating the mochi because I ate it all before I could even film it. Like, it was delicious. All the food in Japan was delicious. Shala and I ate out every single meal and we had some of the best food and the best service that I've ever experienced in the world. The people are so kind here. I don't know, I think you're like the only one of the people I could actually be myself around because we both have like very, very weird tastes at the end of the day. Like, I've known you since I was 11. It's been a long time. You never know if somebody has changed, if they've just become a, a different person. But on the first day walking around, I was just like, fuck, it's like the same shit. Haiki, I was thinking about, I was thinking about marriage and how important it is to collect people that, that have made you into the person you are and, and I was excited, I'm very very excited for that, for what that process will look like in, in three years, four years, five years, whatever it looks like for both of us and that celebration of life moving forward, that's just going to be fucking sick, it's going to be really nice. <laughs> True friendship is a priceless treasure that can weather the test of time. Sometimes life's journey separates us from our dearest friends. But when we embark on new adventures and explore the world, we rediscover the value of those relationships. Travel has a unique way of rekindling lost friendships as it reminds us of the shared memories, the laughter, and the support that we once had. It strengthens our bonds, reminding us that distance is no match for the true enduring power of friendship. Since my trip to Japan in April, Shala and I have actually stayed in touch. As a matter of fact, I visited him in Toronto and we're planning a trip for him to come here to New York. It's, it feels very heartwarming. If you're looking for ways to reconnect with an old friend, I suggest just go ahead and just send a text because you never know where that text will lead. Thank you for away for sponsoring the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.